Hi, this is Brickzar. Today I'm going to be looking at our set 9754, the Dark Side Developer, which features a Star Wars AT-AT, but it has these three instruction manuals. And here is the brains of this set. It's the Micro Scout. It only has about seven functions and it has a little uh, light sensor there on the top of the unit. And we'll look at some of the controls that you can do with that a little later. In the back of the Constructopedia Book 1, it has the parts list for the Dark Side Developer. And there it is. Okay, we built the first model in the Dark Side Developer Kit Constructopedia, which is this L8GO. And in the instruction manual, it shows the seven different functions that the control unit, the Micro Scout, that's in there has. Uh, the first one is just all it does is run forward. And the second one, it drives forward and, when it, and then it goes backwards on its own. And then there's some other ones uh, like light control, like number four, you can uh, make it stand still and when it sees a light, it backs up. And when it detects two flashes from a light source, the robot changes direction. So we're gonna try some of these out. Let's try avoid light, which is number three. So I'll go over here to my micro scout and turn it on. Right, and it's already set to run program number three. So I got my light source here. We hit run. Void light. Shine the light up. It backs up and it goes forward. Shine the light on it. And that's how that works. So we'll stop that one. All right, let's try. Which one we want to try here? Let's try number six, alarm. Yep, we'll try number six. Hit run. Okay, that was interesting. This is number six run um, alarm. Waits for a light source, and then it goes crazy. Okay. And it has another mode, this power mode. It says to find out more about the P mode, P program, go to www.legomindstores.com slash darkside. That page has long since been disabled. So I don't know if anybody's got a resource where they save that information. Uh, but there's no information on that website anymore. It doesn't exist. So that's the first model, the L8GO. And now we'll build another model. I'm working on building the AT-AT. -AT, and this is the frame. This is what I've completed so far. Uh, the brains of the AT-AT -AT, uh, the frame. So that's where I'm at. And we'll finish up the rest of it. All right, we finished the AT-AT, the Star Wars AT-AT, the Mindstorms one, and we're going to see it in operation. So what I need to do is turn it on first. And 
and we'll do program one, which it just runs forward. So I've got to hit the run button. So I hit run, and we'll see it go. It'll stop, and then it'll go a little more. Alright, that's program one. Try program two. Hit run. This goes backwards and forward. Stop. Stop that one. All right, let's um, slide this thing back. Try program three. This is a void light. Shine light on it, it goes backwards. Now it's seeing the light from the getting the overhead light. Better turn it off before it crashes. Alright, now we're gonna do program four. I think I had a problem with this one before. Light control. Yeah, four is not working. Oh we gotta hit run. Light control, sees the light, it's supposed to go backwards, but I think my battery's getting weak. There we go. Sees the light and it goes backwards. Two flashes, go forward. Oh no, it's going to run the table. Ooh, stop. Let's see, two flashes. Changes direction. Not changing direction? There we go. Yeah, now it's working. Got to charge the batteries back up before it's getting weak. You know, do, it, do it twice and it goes backwards. Yeah, it looks like it's time for new batteries. Okay, now it's going to go forward. So what I'm doing is, if it gets two quick flashes, it changes direction. And if it has light, it, it goes. If there's no light, it stops. I think this is my favorite power fun I mean function. Not power function, but control. Right, let's see if couldn't get five to work before, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, the batteries are too weak. Okay. All right, we're gonna stop there, but um, I think four was my favorite. Go back to four. Avoid light. Going backwards. Flash it twice. It changes direction. It goes forward. I'll stop there. I've been using this little flashlight. But anyway, so that is it. That is the ATAT. -AT.
It's in instruction book number three for the dark side developer kit. And what level do they call that? Sith Master level. Uh, there's a lot of other models that you can build. I didn't even do any from book two here which had the destroyer droid and things like that but uh, I've been experimenting so much I've run my my batteries down um, but it's a pretty cool set it actually doesn't take that long to build because uh, it's just it's really like an AT AT skeleton <laughs> is what it is uh, but I'm really happy with this set and maybe we'll do some things have it interact with some other uh, power functions and remote control or other Mindstorm sets and anyway that's the ATAT. -AT. it's um, a set from I think it came out in 2000 and has the micro scout which is a light control it doesn't have a lot of programmability there was a program function that you could access on the website but Lego has long since disabled that and I haven't looked to see if anybody's got any of the resources from that available. But this one is a good one because it will still work because you don't need a computer to, to make it. I know some of the older Mindstorms, you have to have old versions of Windows or a patch or something to make it work. But this one doesn't, you don't need any connectivity to a computer. And so it's a pretty cool set. So thanks for watching, Brickzar, and, and uh, check back later and we'll have some more vintage sets.